So we're here in lovely Spain and it's so easy to come out in just a t-shirt and shorts and completely forget all of your spares. Come on, own up. How many times have you done that? But there are a few fixes you can do without spares and I'm going to show you some of my favourites. If you've been riding down the trail and you've noticed that one of your cleats has gone loose, you want to sort that out straight away because it can actually get stuck in your pedals. But if you've noticed you've lost a bolt, well, you might actually have a spare on your bike. If your disc rotors have bolts in them, well, chances are that will actually fit into your cleat. So you can get your cleat back on, up nice and tight, but your disc rotor probably isn't going to miss one out of six bolts for the rest of the ride. If you're riding rocky terrain like we are here in Spain today, it's not unusual to slash the sidewall of your tyre. And even if you've brought an inner tube, that's unlikely to stay in place. What we use is generally a tyre boot, which is a barrier between your inner tube and the slash in your tyre. But if you haven't brought one of these, there may be a few things in your pockets and your riding pack that could help you. Something like an energy gel wrapper is really solid and also maybe some rubbish that you found on a trail. Even a pound note if you're in Britain, but you need one of those really sturdy plastic ones to help you out. Broken gears are a nightmare because unless your ride home is at the bottom of a descent, you're not going to be pedaling out of the woods with this one. I can't fix your gears for you, but I can help you get into a single speed so that at least you can pedal back home. So a broken gear cable means that you won't be able to actuate any gears, but if you can take it out of the gear barrel, then you can put it back into your derailleur and create tension between two points to make sure that your derailleur stays in a nice easy gear. And the derailleur will actually act as a chain tensioner. So if you're on a full suspension bike, then it will pick up the slack in your chain as your suspension compresses, so it won't break the chain. A broken mech hanger is quite common. It's designed to break because that's how it protects the derailleur and protects your frame. If it does break, ideally you'll have some cable ties to tie it back on, but it won't be very strong and chances are changing gear is not going to be very good. Your chain line's not going to be great either. So try and stay in a harder gear in the smaller cogs and hopefully you'll get back home with that. If your cable tie method isn't working or you've completely broken the cage on your derailleur and you can't use that as a tensioner, then you're going to have to go proper single speed. And this means breaking the chain, taking the derailleur off and just having a single loop for the chain line. But what you need to do is put as much air in the rear suspension as possible if you've got a full sus or lock it out completely because every time the suspension compresses, it puts tension on the chain and it could even break it. If you haven't tightened up your pedals properly, they have a habit of working loose when you're pedaling. And this can damage the thread in your crank arms, which isn't great. Your pedals aren't going to go in very nicely every time. Now, chances are you haven't got a thread tapping tool, but you can actually take your pedals out and thread them back in the reverse order from the inside and push all of those flakes of metal out and make it a little cleaner to get the pedals back in. Bar ends aren't just for show, they're actually for safety. And trust me, you don't want to have an accident without one in. I've got at least three friends that have had an accident without a bar end in, and they've got some pretty nasty scars from where they've practically cored themselves. So you do want to pack that if you're out on the trail and you don't have a spare bar end. Some sturdy rubbish, maybe an energy gel wrapper, preferably not cheese, Blake Sampson, I'm looking at you. Cheese grips! This nutritional blast of cow goodness is a real handful! I forgot to clean the cheese out of my bars. That was so long ago, man. 
not cheese, but something really sturdy, like some sturdy grass, will actually bend over and stick into your handlebars and just give you a little bit of padding for safety until you can get your hands on a spare. So there's some trail side maintenance hacks for you that will hopefully keep you on the trail if you've forgotten to bring your spares. There's some of my favorites that I've actually used myself. But if I've forgotten any, then let us know in the comments below and help keep the GMBN tech community out on the trails. <laughs>